All right, taking a look at Tesla, continuing to see some strength here. We got a big gap over here. The bulls are gonna wanna try and fill that gap. The gap fill would be at 245.63. I don't believe the bulls are gonna be able to push that high today, but anything is possible. I was looking for some resistance around 236, 237. So I was thinking maybe we just pass yesterday's high by a little bit and then fake out and get an upper wick down towards the upper Bollinger Band, which would likely be around 231, 232. So looking for a little bit of a push and then some profit taking on the push and then overall have a pretty tight day after that. And the reason I'm looking for that is because we have pretty high volume yesterday um, and we had most of that volume near the highs of the day. So I do think it does look like we're going to break those levels because we're right around there. We're getting a lot of bullish momentum pre-market, but I'm thinking that we break. And since there's a lot of volume, we end up pulling back a little bit um, and a little bit of profit taking. So that's what I'm looking for as of now. If we do break and we hold above that 235 area and that 235 area becomes a support, then potentially it can continue to run towards the 240 and that gap fill at 245. So something we're going to watch out for. But if the bulls uh, do want that continuation, they're going to need to break that 235 and then hold it as a support. If it just breaks it and then dumps right back below, that would probably be a bad sign that it's going to end up pulling back and consolidating for the day. So that's something I'm watching out for right now. We got some support around 225 to, and, and you see the support on the hourly. We got an hourly higher low pattern right now, 225.20, 225. 77 226 81 227 20 and the last hourly higher low is at 228.08 so we got an hourly higher low pattern looking pretty bullish but again looking for a fake out above those highs and a little bit of a pullback but it's possible that it does push holds above that area as a support and then um, forms another hourly higher low because that's what the bulls are going to want and then pushes towards the end of the day something we'll watch out for today